thank you all for watching part one of get ready with me i don't want it to put them all in one video because i just feel like it's a lot and i talk a lot and i just feel like enjoy it while you can you know yeah okay that was so boring so before i put anything on my face i am going to start with the body shop tea tree oil honestly this is probably the first time i ever really tried this oil um, my first time was yesterday and my second time will be today and tea tree oil i heard is really good for scarring and as you can see i have this scar in the middle of my head i have this scar on the side of my nose i don't know where from and because i have allergies what is that wow then i got something right here so i have allergies in the entire spring summer fall like it does not matter dust anything i start breaking out when i blow my nose so i do get scarring like underneath my nose i just y'all think i have good skin i i have a lot of issues with my skin so i'm just letting y'all know it ain't always what it's wrapped up to be next i'm going to use the clinique it's a prep start it's an eye cream and it has um coconut not coconut it has coffee in it and a lot of eye creams have coffee in it so that they can help with the puffing underneath the eyes and a lot of eye cream help with um just brightening the underneath the eye and i have really bad circles i mean it's it's really evident that i do but whatever like whatever as long as the school's on nice i don't care <laughs> Next, I'm going to add this baby, as you all see. I always have this product with in all my videos. It's literally a moisturizer that I've been using for four years now. Like, it's crazy. And another tip is that I use Cetaphil before I wash my face. So that, well, as I wash my face, I use Cetaphil. And for me, I love it because it helps with previous breakouts it helps with um oncoming breakouts like literally cetaphil for me is like the best thing i've ever used and it's the normal to oily skin one i like that one because it's more intense as far as getting the oils out your skin if you are more dry and very sensitive like i have sensitive skin but i like that because it helps with getting all the oil out my skin but if um you can go in and put your primer on but i already primed my face with literally everything um i am going to wait to apply the primer for my complexion but i don't like to throw it on because i already put so much stuff on my face so i like to do my eyebrows first and with your eyebrows you just want to make sure that you brush out your eyebrows before you start i see a lot of people just go in and they just start it's like the eyebrows look smoother when you brush them first. So if anyone notices, I always use my finger to blend. Some people like to use... So I had an interview for a counter before and they made me use my fingertips for application. And I thought that was so weird because honestly, you, I don't know, like yes, the temperature from your fingers warms up the foundation, but it doesn't really leave the same finish a brush leaves or a sponge. I don't even like using a sponge. Like I really like using a brush. And I was just like, what, what is this? Like why do you have me doing this? So I, I, I didn't like that. So, um, but I use my finger for corrections but mainly like for blending purposes one because you're not you know absorbing the product in your hands or your fingers but it just gives me I don't know I'm just so used to it that I do it so if you see me doing it in my videos just know that I'm doing it and it works for me a lot of people don't do that so don't think like this is like something that everyone's supposed to do it's just something that I do So now I am going to use my 
Ahmad. I honestly, I would say Amand, Amande, and she's like Amade. I don't know. She says some French word, so I'm probably spell, um, saying it right. But I'm using my NARS concealer. They told me it was discontinued at one mall, and then when I went to other mall, it was there, and I was so mad because personally, I prefer this concealer over. Let me find it. So personally, I prefer this concealer over this concealer. This concealer, I feel like it's way lighter than this concealer for some reason. And they're the same color, but one's matte and one's more creamy. And I prefer the creamy one, especially like for my eyebrows and underneath my eyes, because I feel like those are the, like, this area is just drier than normal. So using a matte concealer does not work for me. So if that works for you, work for you. But I use it in my videos because I really do like NARS as a brand. So if you guys know of any like other concealers, let me know. to take this concealer and put on my eyelids this look is going to be really natural like everything's kind of gonna be just kind of just plain today and it's not because that I don't want to go all crazy it's just because I'm going to different events today and I just don't want to have too much makeup on like sometimes I like wear a lot of makeup you know if you guys see me in my videos and I go all crazy but for the most part, I like natural makeup. So if you like natural makeup, yeah. <laughs> weird but it's it's not weird um i just i just really just don't want too much on my face today like you just sometimes you just like you know like i don't want to be too much so i am going to use my anastasia anastasia paley i'm going to use these two colors right here next to each other raw sienna and burnt orange that's kind of to give a more natural look on the eyes um, and kind of just smooth all this out and just put that in your crease because then nobody really realizes you have makeup on. You can't find my Smashbox palette so I'm going to use my Naked 3 palette. media page like really like more followers like genuine followers I want more subscribers I want to do more collaborations literally this week I just sent out my media kit so I'm really excited about that I'm excited to hear back from companies I heard back from one company so definitely stay tuned for that um, and I think right now I'm just working on growth as far as what I'm doing for myself 
definitely trying to get more videos uploaded and be more active on my sites because I feel like in order for me to get somewhere I need to be doing as much as everyone else if not more so the last few days I couldn't find my tinted moisturizer and I was freaking out because I'm like I need my tinted moisturizer because it's literally the only thing that I wear when I don't want to wear foundation so I was freaking out and then next thing I know I found the foundation in the living room in a bunch of bags because when I'm done with events I never put the bags away I just throw them in the living room and keep it moving which is so bad um but yeah I, I don't do that I need to brush this out oh but I don't do that which is horrible um for the most part I try to but I don't so to use the tart and even the tart I start not to like anymore but I'm gonna use it today But I will use the NARS here. But as you can see, it's like it's like chalky. Like I do like the NARS, but I don't like this one. I like the other one. So I'm definitely gonna invest in the other one again because it's just is this chalky. Like I don't like that at all. see my complexion application is really really light you can still see my beauty mark you can still see my beauty mark um, you can still see you know it's it's natural so I try to make sure that I keep everything natural because then you know you don't have to like put too much on your face so and then you can really see what you really look like without the scars and stuff on your face and you don't have like I don't like all that crazy makeup so now I'm going to use my Kat Von D powder. I am going to invest in a new powder. And not this powder. I like this powder, but I will say the Cover FX powder that I used to use, loved it, loved it, but it broke. So I'm gonna buy a new one. And I'm just gonna pat that here because of my little scar. don't necessarily have to use powder when you have dry skin it's more so when you have oily skin but I like to apply it for more coverage on my skin so I don't know if I'll use the Barry Brown powder or the Laura Mercier powder burn the eyes I'm going to invest I keep saying I'm going to invest in this and this guy like my fourth video I'm gonna have no products because it takes time um, and I don't want to add too much because most of the time it makes my eyes look white. Well, on camera it looks white. And even the translucent by Laura Mercier makes it look white. But I like the Bobbi Brown because it had color in it. But for all of a sudden, it doesn't look the same when I first bought it. So, I just like to put that not directly underneath my eyes, but close, if not very light underneath my eyes. I'm going to contour my face still and everyone again hourglass and it's a foundation stick everyone says oh what you contour with foundation stick I don't do a dramatic contour I think if or when I get big but when I get big I still will keep this routine going because I want to advocate for naturalness like I don't want to advocate for like Granted, my eyelashes aren't that, you know, the whole idea of makeup is not natural, but I want to keep that idea that I like to go for a more natural look. Um, I like to go for a more natural look if I can, um, especially during the day or, you know, little events. I don't want to go overboard. And please, please, please repost. That's one thing. Repost. 
repulse, repulse, repulse. So as you can see, I'm still with the natural glow. My hair is drying. Look at the curls. Look at the curls. It doesn't feel dry. So I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown. And just go over my contour. take my scarf off, I'll most likely go over this area. So now I'm going to do my bottom line. It's a sad day. Because I just ran out of my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And I don't know where So now I'm going to do underneath my eyes. I literally just ran out of my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And the second but close to best thing is my eyeliner by Lancome. I'm going to use my hourglass. Like honestly, all my stuff is just like breaking. And I don't, I think it's like the temperature in my room, but everything is breaking. And I'm going to add some shine. The problem is, too, this broke, too. And I don't know if it's because, like, every time I come here, there's no space and I'm dropping stuff and it's breaking, but it's breaking. And I need, like, like it's break. everything's pretty breaking. I like to, well, I just started doing this, is putting uh, like highlighter on my lips because it kind of defines them a little bit more. And to finish this look off, I'm going to use my, not even this one. I'm going to use Love Bite by Kylie. I know everybody said it, but she's still using that, but. I like it. Color wise, I like it. Mm. Okay, so this is my final look. Um, I have a your tart on, but again, you can just go to beautybychic.com and you'll see the look. Um, and make sure you guys follow me, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I don't know if this video was too long or if it was too short. But I thought I should go through the process of getting ready with me because I see all the videos and I'm like, mm, let me try that. So I'm trying different things. If I don't like you, let me know. If you do, thank you. Um, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for, for supporting me. Please comment below. Subscribe. Like. Dislike. But like. Don't dislike. Um, and yeah.